Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the X-Way Fan Show. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Absol Absolver. Not Absolver, Absolver. Absolver, whatever. Anyways, this is a game where you fight people. It essentially started out where you're standing outside, an old guy picks you out, gives you a mask, or gives you a mask, give the mask to a ghost, the ghost empowers it, you put it on, and now you're in this magical area. And it's essentially, go fight these guys to open up these gates to go past those gates. And that's it so far. Simple. Uh, the combat's been fun. Uh, the biggest issues I've had with this game is I wanted to show you a little further in. The issue is I can't find anything. All the areas, uh, when you're in an area, all the areas twist and turn on themselves and everything looks the same. It's not like Dark Souls where they have like very uh, distinct areas and paths and stuff. This Everything looks very much the same and it's very hard to find anything. I found one of the main bosses, but that's mostly because he's essentially smack dab in the middle of the area and you kind of have to go through it and there's not many area, ways around it. Uh, the second two areas I haven't been able to get to. I've killed about three or four of the mini bosses, which give you skills and abilities, which I'll show off later. And uh, there's been some pretty weird frame rate things. But other than that, I've enjoyed it. The frame, rates, frame rate and the weird map unable to find stuff has been its biggest detriments. Uh, right now, I'm actually at an altar. On the left, you can actually see uh, the map. Uh, as you can see on the left side, I've actually, uh, there's a dot. To, like in the top one, you see three dots set in the top. The left side, you actually see only two. That's because uh, the green one, I believe, is me. Uh, and the other one is actually the uh, other boss I have yet to actually encounter. Uh, and of course you can see I'm Zero JD. I'm not in a school. Schools are essentially like the clubs and stuff. You can, if you get, if someone, I don't know actually how it works, uh, but you can essentially join up a school and you can use their decks, which are essentially fighting styles, uh, and learn attacks and combat styles and all that kind of fun stuff. But, uh, the main part of this game is essentially your, uh, combat. So you have uh, combat decks, one's for bare hands, one's for your war gloves, which is, I believe, your, uh, the first weapon I got. And then you have swords. So we're actually going to go to my bare hands and we're going to uh, practice. So as you can see here, this is actually this guy's not going to bother me, so we don't have to worry about him. Uh, upper left, you can see my health. If I punch the bottom, you can see my stamina going down. If I actually, I believe, uh, time it perfectly on that uh, those arrows, my stamina will go back up. Bottom right is actually kind of stances. And actually, as you leave, uh, if you're in different stances, you have different attacks attached to those. And I'll actually show you that in a bit. But I have like, right now, this is my normal combo. As you see, as I go, it's actually moving me through stances. If I don't want to do that and I want to just go to the next stance, I can just hit Y. And it'll just go through there. But some of the uh, main attacks sometimes will leave you in a normal, your same stance, Y attacks or uh, heavy attacks. Uh, special attacks will sometimes, will always switch you to another stance. And of course I have my gloves and then I have a weapon, which is slightly different. So let's go ahead and actually edit that. So this is how I have my uh, combat. As you can see on the, the X, I have my attack sequences and then alternate attacks of our on the right. Uh, let's actually switch out of that one up to here. So as you can see here, I have this, which leads into this, which will then lead into this bottom upper left attack stance. And then these two attacks will actually lead to this one, and this will lead back up to here. So what I want to actually do is have this one here lead into the bottom right. So I need to find an attack that that's actually already used, and that will leave me there. So I want to actually find one that finishes in bottom right. So I go down here. But that actually doesn't do that because I believe that's used here. So if I could change this one to that hard jab. So that one be, so if it, this is a little confusing, it is at first. So starting here, as you can see next to it, there's a little square in the upper right corner. So that means that's the attack, the stance I need to be in to start that. So as you can see here, that'll go to that. Then it's gonna pull me over to there. So right now I only have this looping uh, upper two things. If I hit Y though, it'll bring me down to my uh, bottom left one, and then it'll just go on back there. It's 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 a very in depth combat system. It's it's fun. Uh, the only frustrating part about it is to learn new attacks. You either have to guard against them, or use my your uh, right trigger ability. I mean, uh, 
your uh, ability to whatever your uh, your right analogous deck ability. Mine is absorb, which means I get stamina back and I get health back if I connect Bloodborne style. Uh, there's a parry one, and then there's a dodge one as well. So let's fiddle with this a little bit more. Let's just let's just take everything out. Okay. So what do we want to start with? Let's go with a body blow. No, that's already been used. Do so start with an uppercut. So so far that's boom, 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 boom. No, it won't let me throw it, show it off. Uh, it doesn't like it when you don't leave stuff in. So let's do that, and that will go. So that will finish into this guy here. So it'll be boom, boom, into there. Which will then finish into that again. So I don't actually want that. I want to have that uh, to finish in. Uh, I, want it, I want it to continue. I want it to be like a smooth rotation throughout my other attacks. But we're not going to keep it. So let's just, let's not work, worry on that. And of course, I can mix it up, hit X, Y, all that kind of stuff. It's 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 fun combat. I won't. I'm not gonna sit here and try to explain it all to you. Same thing with the war gloves, and same thing with the swords. Uh, essence, you're essentially just buying stuff. You can buy protection, your armor, weapons, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, stuff will either raise or lower your protection from blunt or cut. Uh, my stats affect the damage of certain attacks. I haven't been able to figure out how to really see what attacks are affected by what. But it seems as long as I'm raising up my stats, the points go up. So whatever. Put stats in, points go up. Normal kind of stuff. And of course, equipment. As you run around, you find goodies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, these are the skills I've unlocked. Right now, I have heal and I have uh, a shield. Uh, I'm going to stand up. There's a player sitting right there. People usually leave each other alone. 99% of the time, people have left me alone. The only person who's kind of really followed me around has been someone I think is grinding the 100 kills achievement. On your, my waist here, you'll see these three stones. As those fill up, I can actually use my abilities. As you saw, my heel uses two of them, and my shield uses two of them, and then my war gloves, I think, use two of them. So let's go find someone to fight. Uh, you might see it once in a while, but there's a some weird frame rate drops. But yeah, most of the time, you're just fighting uh, NPCs. A lot of people will actually just come up and help you fight stuff and then just run away the opposite direction. I can do also do emotes. It's not crazy. But here we go. Let's fight this guy. So there have been a few enemy types that I've seen so far. Uh, one of the uh, these orange health guys, which are kind of about in the meat middle. Uh, the red health dudes are super easy to kill. I've seen yellow health guys and I've seen purple health guys. Uh, purple guys, I have not really noticed anything too hard, and I've just kind of wrecked them. All right, let's. So if I can time that right, you saw how some of my uh, stamina came back. But uh. Guarding and all that kind of stuff when you take hits, take stamina. Let's keep following this person. But yeah, like, you get experience points, you level up, you get stat points, but... Oh, there's the frame rate. But yeah, these areas are just... Like, they're not giant. They're just... They just... Like, oh yeah, this person's confused too. They kind of just loop in on themselves and all that kind of stuff. And it's so hard to find anything. But I am playing on the X, and these frame rate issues are still here, and that's kind of ruining the enjoy enjoyment for me. It's like, that's another person. Oh, there's a dude down there to fight. Hey, fight me. Oh, there's two people to do. Oh, hey. Oh, he lost his sword. Let's get this guy from behind. All right, he's dead. Can pick up whatever that was, some gloves. Oh, hey. Uh, you'll probably see it. There it is, that white attack. Uh, that, if a norm, if it's a uh, attack hits me that's not heavy, I believe it uh, allows me to just power through it. So you can see I can ha uh, at the bottom right, I have uh, the things are glowing yellow. If I hit up, I get my war gloves on and I do extra damage. This guy over here is, oh, like that frame rate right there is hard, bad. And of course, I can heal myself if I want to. Oop, I hit uh, the left bumper, to, the right bumper to target. If I if I go to attack and then immediately hit guard, I faint. 
As you just heard, both of those people just fell off the side. And that's a very effective way to not kill people, is just knocking them off the side. I have far too often, though, overhit and fallen with them. But you don't really drop anything. When you die, you don't lose anything. Uh, you, like, no money or anything. However, you have to learn attacks. So if you're... I'll... Let's see. Are you a per... Yeah, there you go. So if I guard... All right, see how that uh, that little ring filled up with blue? If I don't beat this guy, I lose all that uh, that uh, learning. So let's uh, try to finish him off. So the combat's a little simpler with the actual fighting part than I thought it was. Let's see. As you saw there, that guy uh, actually parried me. But uh, yeah, the comments a lot. Whoa, hey. Hey, buddy. This is actually a player, if you couldn't tell. There you go. And I finished him off. If I wanted to, I could revive him, but I'm not. I'm just going to heal over him and run away. That's actually the literally the second person who's ever attacked me, and I've got a few hours into this game. He'll just respawn somewhere. But yeah, it's... The, the, the enjoyment of the combat and stuff like that has been ruined by just, like, the frame rate, and, like, I can't find anything. It's so annoying going around in circles... Like, you'll, you'll get the deja vu feeling. Like, yeah, I've been here before. Like, I've, I ended up back up here. Probably because I'm not really paying attention. But there are there are literally areas where you will just go in circles. And it's just so annoying. Because to progress, you have to kill these bosses. And you can't really find these bosses. I think over here is the area I was at recently. Like, the only things that are... The only thing that really sticks out about each area is kind of the entrance to them. And of course, if you watch the bottom right, you can see when people enter and exit the area. It's like I've entered the area, that guy's entered the area. If you leave and go, if you leave an area and come back, uh, people, the same people won't be there. So every area is instanced and that kind of thing. But yeah, so far, like people haven't really been bothering me. Oh, like that, that's frame rate drops. I've actually had times where I've actually like shot forward five feet and I went down a hole and died. But, like, this area is very similar to the area I just left. But then we get over here, and it's like, oh, now it's a city. So, like, that big archway is, like, that's memorable. But once you get inside the city, again, it's like, uh, everything kind of looks the same. But let's keep going. We'll go a little longer. Like, the combat's all very enjoyable. I've not had very much, too many issues with bosses. The first boss I fought, actually... Like, halfway into his life, uh, spawned smaller dudes that were, like, one or two hit kills. And kills give you life back, so I just murdered all them and then uh, kept going with him. Uh, and also, there's an achievement for killing people in PvP. So there is PV Like, the PvP is like, yeah, you're murdering people. So let's see what new goodies I got. So this is essentially the same as exactly what I have. All right, so if you can see on the left there, like the green will bring my blunt and cut damage uh, reduction da up. But if I use, um, it'll bring my overall damage down. And of course, there's a combat trial, which is like, hey, PvP and three versus three. Uh, I've tried these earlier. It takes a while to get a match. Uh, I believe it does scale you, though, because I was level 16 and it matched me, matched me with a 45. And we ended up like it was not him hitting me once and killing me. Uh, we actually did a uh, I won two rounds he won two rounds and he beat me in the final round and we were both from like a punch from a punch from death so it wasn't like like if you grind and do nothing else you're not going to be able to destroy PvP people in that pvp mode so and you get experience points from that mode also there are set mini bosses one of them spawns here I think that's him right there hey buddy he actually has a really cool fighting style he's got a drunken uh, fist I'm not doing enough damage to him. I can also dodge with a B. Uh, 
And some of them have stages, so if I, like, beat him... Man, I want his mask. <laughs> so I think he should be pulling out a sword soon, if I remember right. I'm gonna pull out my gloves. One of my best attacks. There it is. If I do enough damage, I should force him to drop it. And I can take it and beat him with his own weapon. Thank you. Like, so if I wanted to, I could, like, just continually go to this guy and farm his, uh, his fighting style. But I don't really want to do it. But now I have a sick sword. And I hear someone fighting, so I might go help them. But yeah, this has been Absolver. Not Absolver. Absolver. If that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, like, I know that there's a boss in this area. I don't know how to find him. There are paths that I've seen that I can't get to. It's just, it's mildly annoying at some of the, uh... Trend, like just getting around like what's over here it's like oh no that's a dead end but there's there's I believe there's another area like that on the other side of this area that's got a treasure chest or uh it's not a treasure chest it's a pile of stones but like here we go I can't do it yet <laughs> it's like no uh if someone else defeats an enemy nearby you and you've hit it once you get the experience points as well someone needs help Oh, no. I'm coming, buddy. And I can revive. Oh, no. They didn't want me to revive them. All right. That person has a purple name. That means they're going to give me, like, at least a thousand experience points. They are supposed... Oh, hey. Down I go. Yeah. Like, oh. Aha. You fell as well. But, yeah. That, hap that happens a lot. And of course, you're just... And now I'm back here. So let's take a look at this new armor I got, and then I will wrap it up. So this app offers absolutely no benefit at all. I don't know if you can get rid of items. Oh, I can salvage it. That's cool. All right. I didn't know you could repair stuff. Cool. Get rid of that. All right. 12%. All right, that's good to know. Because a lot of this stuff I don't want to do. So yeah, you can totally salvage stuff. So I think the issue was that I was trying to do it from this menu. And you can't do it. You can't salvage from this menu. You have to be standing up. All right, that makes sense. But uh, this is Absolver. I am Zero JD. This is the X-Way Fans channel. I, I would leave it up to you guys if you want to pick up this game. My biggest issues are the frame rate and just like finding stuff is so hard. I do have a funny mask. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's end this right. There we go. It's actually called the Silly Mask, I believe. But uh, I am Zero JD. This is the X-Play Fan Channel. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the other videos. Like, uh, subscribe. It helps us out so much. Sorry if this video is a little longer. There was a lot of stuff to show off. That combat section alone is a lot to show off. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.